Welcome, folks, to Rome, Caesar's Will, Episode 6. This is Callisto8413, and I think it's time we talk to one of the most famous people in Rome, Cicero. The cont gold container we took to the goldsmith had two letters. The people they're going to are dead, but the man who sent them is still very much alive. And since they were found in the scene of the murder, I think he might have some information. I hope dealing with the murder. Maybe he could give us some information about motivation. So, <laughs> Cicero's actually not that far away from the murder scene, too. All right, well, let's go see Cicero. Wow, okay, which direction do we want to go? There's a room over there, but I think it's closed. I don't really see... Mm -hmm. Ah, there's a room over here. Or it looks like it, anyway. Ah, there's a, uh... Is that Scabonius, or is that a different person? Let's be flattering. Is that you, Tyron, Cicero's loyal and famous secretary? I am he, yes. How may I help you? I'm investigating the death of Titinius. He was a great friend of my master. A confidant of Cicero? They wrote to each other a great deal and often saw each other. Some time before the death of Titinius, my master charged me with delivering some important letters to him to put in a safe place in case anything happened to him. Letters? Oh, what letters? I know neither the contents nor who wrote them, but I gave them to Titinius shortly before his death. Well, I think we have those letters, but do we have all those letters? Can I pick up some of the food? No? All right, well, I think that's as much as we're going to get without yelling at him, and I don't want to yell at him. He's free. He's not a slave. You know, I might piss off... Cicero, if I yell at him. Let's go that way. This is a big house, by the way. You can tell that Cicero is wealthy. The size, the amount of plumbing to bring in water. This is very much a rich man's house. Though, once again, you would think they'd be more slaves or servants. Oh, here's another person. Hmm. Hey, slave, I want a word with you. You aren't talking to a slave, soldier. I was made a free man a short while ago, but I have knowledge that many envy. What would that be? I don't think I know your name. I know how to read and write, and my name is Philologus. In that case, it must be your job to train all the slaves at this house. That's right. But there's no future in it for me. I have other ambitions. Would you leave such a good master? The wind's changing, soldier, and soon it won't be a good thing to belong to Cicero's household. You'll see. Oh, what a good example of loyalty and courage you give us. I have no need of lessons from anyone. I dream of joining a man of action, a real man, not a ditherer like Senator Cicero. Who then? The great Mark Antony. The sworn enemy of Cicero. That takes the cake. You set slaves free and look what you get in return. Hmm. I thought this might be interesting. but... Mm. That looks like something. Let's go over there. Uh, it's going to be one of those. All right. We'll go over there. Menu. Save. Last save. New game. Menu. 
load last save pick it up Cicero's famous dialogue on Brutus I've heard that Cicero made it into a lesson <laughs> with him as the enlightened tutor no doubt Hmm. Not much information there. Walk around a little bit more. Anything? Did they put something over here? Yes, they did. All right. Back over here. There you go. Over here. Okay, somebody just showed up. And you can pick that one up, yes. You're not going to talk about it? It's a letter. Oh. No, that's the one I already, that's, that's, that's the one I have. Oh, it's a new one? Ah. How's it, Pompey? Hmm. What the heck? Who is this to again? Anthony. Oh. Somebody sent a nasty letter to Anthony? Hmm. Well, let's talk to the uh, gentleman over here. I got a feeling I know who he is, to be honest. Could you? Okay. That's interesting. I can't talk to this gentleman? That's fascinating, because I'm thinking that's one of, that is not Cicero. Maybe I need to talk to that person afterwards. What was that letter about? I mean, oh, it's a cutscene. Or maybe it's not. When I get close enough, it's going to be cut soon, isn't it? Hmm. What are you doing? Let's go over here. Well, well. Cicero and Octavian in conversation. Let's hear what they have to say. Octavian! What a pleasure to see you in Rome in these troubled times. To what do we owe your return from Greece? The death of my great uncle Caesar. And there's more besides. They say Caesar placed all his hopes in you. They say so, and it's true. What proof do you have of this? You are not the only one to claim this inheritance. Gold and Caesar's power have brought several wolves out of the woods. I can't provide any proof for the moment. The will and the act of adoption making me Caesar's direct heir have disappeared. Mark Antony claims to have them and to be keeping them in a safe place. But I'm certain he is lying and that he is looking for the documents himself. I ought to see him and clarify this delicate situation. You are wrong to seek to quarrel with Mark Antony. He's a disturbed and dangerous man. No doubt. You know him better than I do, Cicero. But let me draw my own conclusions. He's also a great soldier, loved by his troops. And they are camped around Rome. I see you are a very cautious young man, Octavian. You will go far. Coming from you, Senator, that is a compliment that honors me greatly. What can I do to serve you? 
Lend me your power and your name in the struggle I face with Mark Antony. Together, we can bring him to reason. You speak as though civil war were already declared again. Let's first see what Mark Antony's state of mind is. You're overreacting, my dear Cicero. You should have a rest. Get away for a while. Hmm. I'm going to check my notes, because that last letter is directed towards that gentleman, uh, directed towards Mark Anthony. And I don't know what it's doing in Cicero's house. Yes, I know. Cicero sent... Oh, yes! Okay, that's the title of the, the work. That is a work by... Huh. This is a work by Cicero about Anthony, and it is not a nice work. Hmm. That's a Pompeii. Magnus. No. Let us see if we could talk to... Well, he's going on over there. I prefer to talk to... Cicero. Here's the person I came to talk to. Light. Formal. Let's try to be formal. Hail, Senator. <coughs> could you answer a few questions? I see they don't use kid gloves to interrogate an old man of my standing. Who are you? I'm just a private investigator. Don't worry. All this will remain between you and me. Even in my own home, enemy ears are always listening to what I say. Titinius, my brother, was murdered. I told him a secret shortly before Caesar's assassination. Turbonius, one of the conspirators, met Mark Antony in Narbonne. Once again, Mark Antony, your personal enemy. Go on. Cutscene! Ah, there you are. They said you were looking for me. I was waiting for you, Mark Antony. It seems you are taking the Via Domitia and returning to Rome. Caesar has even done me the honor of asking me into his litter. After the Hispania campaign, returning in a litter is no luxury. Yes, Caesar is good at showing his gratitude to those who have served him well. But his favor is fickle. As with all tyrants, it seems that Lepidus is succeeding you as master of the cavalry. Your days as number two in Rome are over. He has to give positions to all those who helped him. What he gives to one person, he takes away from someone else. I, too, served him well in Gaul during the Civil War and in Hispania. And so he promised that I would be proconsul of Asia. Empty words, as you see. But his generosity is equal to his ambition. He's been dictator for ten years now. The Republicans are getting angry. You probably mean your friends, Brutus and Cassius. Them and many others, too. There is feeling against him on all sides. People say he should be stopped in his tracks. There's a conspiracy. A conspiracy against Caesar? Are many involved? Are they determined? Or is it just a rumor? They are determined. But they need a leader, a man of action, someone like you, who could control the changeable moods of the Roman people. A leader? When is this plot planned for? Soon, if he continues to abuse his power when he returns to Rome. Don't count on me, Trebonius. This is not the time for me to rise up against the man who made me what I am. But I am honored by your trust, and I will remain silent. Meanwhile, be careful not to rush into any impulsive action. An improvised conspiracy is doomed to failure. What a strange man. For a moment, I thought we could really count on him. But will he keep his mouth shut? Uh-oh, Mark Antony didn't warn Caesar of the danger that faced him. Such a lack of action looks very much like complicity. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Let's see if we can't find uh, Caesar's nephew. Get over here. Come on. No oh, good grief. Okay. The future emperor of Rome. Let's see if we can't talk to him. So the conspirators try to recruit Mark Anthony, right? No, I'm not going to get pissed off with him. Greetings, Octavian. What are you doing at Cicero's home? I came to ask his advice as a friend and lawyer. 
Oh, what about? About Caesar's will. I have rights, and I intend to exercise them. But I have to find the will first. Can I count on you to help me? What's in it for me, a poor decurion? Promotion to a high rank in the army, a good marriage, whatever you want. Interesting. If I can find Caesar's will, which is the title of the game, maybe I could use him to get the woman out of jail. A possibility. He is upset because Caesar's will supposedly left him a lot of money. But also, Caesar had formally adopted him. But the paperwork has not gone through yet. So even if the will was found, some people could say, well, he's not actually Caesar's son, and therefore the will doesn't really apply to him. We are in a dining area. But what is in here for me to find? Is there anything here for me to find? It looks look good. No, this is just flavor. But I did see a bedroom. Or another room off to the side. Or did I? No, no, over here. As you can see, once again, this is a large place, lots of water, lots of nice airy... Oh. Uh, Cicero had an ex-wife, I think. Let us talk to her. Differential, service to dry. Which, okay. What are you doing here? Who are you? A guest of the Senator? He doesn't invite his former wife to his house. But I don't want to be invited, as you see. I am Terencia, Cicero's ex-wife. Now wife of the great historian, Sallust. Sallust, the historian and Caesar's ally. And one of the richest men in Rome, so they say. So they say, so they say. Meanwhile, Cicero isn't exactly a pauper himself. But he was always terribly mean with me. But Cicero's business is flourishing. His business, maybe. What do you mean by that? Cicero is a loser. He's backed the wrong horse more than once. I don't hold out much hope for his future. Farewell. Cicero's ex-wife isn't an easy person. I can understand why he left her. She must be forceful in business and merciless in love. That makes me feel better about the idea that it is better to be alone than together with the wrong person. Maybe. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to her. I want to go over here. Check out the rest of the... Oh. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. No, don't talk to her. Pick it up. No! There's a shrine. Eh, family shrine's not responding to me. Let's go over here. Figure out what it is I was looking at. Oh, it's a blade. Anything else interesting? I think there's an open book right here. Ah, oh, family shines. So this is a blade. Let us see if we can pick it up once again. We're using the walk around glitch thing again. So save. Last save. Save. New game. Load, last game, last save, and pick up. Brutus's dagger. I'll have to ask him about this weapon when I see him. Would Brutus be in Rome right now? That's kind of stupid, but whatever. I'd like to talk to Cicero. Uh, well, not talk to him. I want to show him the work he made about he went making fun of Anthony. He might tell me a little more about Anthony, maybe? Oh, I can't show it to him. I 
can't show him that either. I can't show him that either. Don't worry, I show him that. Well, I can show him that, but it doesn't really matter very much. Let's see what he thinks about poison threats. <coughs> Threatening letters to Herbalus. Yes, go all the way over there to show him the letter. Here, here, no, come back here. Okay, show him the letter. I can't have asked the right person. Yeah, he doesn't care about that. All right, well, let's check the notes, see if there's anything new. Well, maybe. Warren Mark, conspiracy against... He doesn't really care about the letters that he sent. <clears throat> Anything in inventory that would make him talk? He doesn't want to brag about his own works? Nothing but indifference. Alright. How about if I showed that to... Uh, future emperor of Rome. No, he doesn't care. All right, I think we have had enough here. I would like to check out the rest of the house, though. There might be something in the nooks, nooks and crannies, as it were. Let's, come on. Okay, go that way, then. Okay, so we've already been over there. Oh my lord, you are horrible at pathfinding, aren't you? We've already been in there. We met the ex-wife in there. Let's go that way, then. If you hear a motor, a lawnmower, sorry about that. Anything of interest? No. Okay. Go over here. So, who else would we want to talk to? Alright, we came from this direction. So let's go back over here. Let's go down the other side. See if there's anything of importance. The game suggests Brutus. Et tu Brutus is somewhere in Rome. Oh, what happened to your le legs? Okay. Alright, so it doesn't look like really. Okay, how about we, we go over here and then we check the other corner there? Um. Go over here. Hmm. I can't, I, can't, I can't see if that's open or not. Go, go over there. Can you get over there? All right. All right, let's go over here then. Let's leave the... All right, well, it looks like this is as much as I can get. I got a lot of notes <clears throat> about Cicero and such. Octavian wants me to find Seuss's will. And I know that Mark Anthony was actually warned of the conspiracy against Caesar, though probably not the details. Since he didn't agree to actually join, they probably didn't tell him about the Ides of March. And Cicero and Mark Anthony don't get along. I kind of knew that beforehand. And once again, if you watch HBO's Rome, you probably figured that out. Uh... 
But Cicero also knew about the meeting and therefore the conspiracy, and he also didn't say anything to Caesar. Once again, him and Caesar also did not get along. He's supposedly a defender of the Republic, but most of the defenders of the Republic were really just defenders of their own power base. So, I want to find Caesar's will, which would help me get the girl of my dreams out of jail. But that means now I'm trying to find two documents. And I don't know where they are, though with Caesar's will, Mark Anthony might have it. Or, as Cicero suggested, Mark Anthony might not know where it is. But there is a place where wills are, a famous place, where wills are usually kept. And next time we'll probably be going there. Yeah. An hour and 20 uh, minutes away from us. So until next time, folks, thank you for watching. And, uh... Cicero was somewhat helpful, but let's face it, not much. Have a good day, folks.